Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 639. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 636 to 639. In this trick here, uh, someone asked a question about uh, a video Mr. Excel and I did. Look up doing approximate match with an unsorted table. In that video we said, hey, we need to look up this $100 in this little table right here, but in order to do an approximate look match lookup, this column has to be sorted. So how do you do it when it's not sorted? That was the, this video here. But now, this person asked, hey, I want to do that, but I also want to be able to copy the formula this way and have it go and get uh, various columns. So here's the solution to that. So for example, here we need to look in this column, but here we need to look in this column. And it's going to be the same formula, we'll just use mixed cell references so when we copy it this way, this range will move here and then here as it comes to this column and this column. So equals, and we're going to use the lookup function, and what's great about the lookup function is um, you can have a lookup value and you can say lookup vector and result vector. Now, lookup was the original lookup function, and it only does approximate match. It can't do exact match. Now, here's the deal. What lookup value, we're just going to look here, right? And for one person on one day, here's their sales for each one of these products, but they have different commission rates. So when we copy this way, that, that, that's a relative reference everywhere, comma. But now, the lookup vector, we would normally just highlight this and lock it, right? But we can't because it's not sorted. So what we're going to do is sort the values inside the formula. It's easy to do this. There's four values. We can just do the small because in order for lookup function or VLOOKUP match, any of those to do approximate match, this has to be sorted smallest to biggest. So we'll use small. The array is going to be this right here, and I'm going to lock it, F4, in all directions, because everywhere we go, we need to look at that column. Every single one of these values is always looking to this unsorted column here, comma, and then the K. Usually we say, like, give me the second or the third, but we want all four, and we want it to sort it in the formula, so we curly bracket. one comma two comma three comma four n curly bracket that's just array constant that says hey give me the small one two three four in that order so if I highlight this and hit the F9 you can see boom it's sorted in the formula control Z now I'm gonna control C to copy it that's the lookup vector comma the result vector. I'm just going to paste control V. The only thing I need to change here is because I need this right here. So I'm actually going to highlight this. I just didn't want to retype all that. Highlight that and highlight this right there and to replace it. Now think about this. When we go down we need it locked on this but when we move this formula over here we need that dancing ant range to move there so we simply lock it F4, F4. Row reference lock but not the column close parenthesis at the end, and that's it. That formula will work. Approximate match lookup, where the first column is not sorted. The remaining col columns are not sorted either, but we need to move through the columns as we copy horizontally. Uh, control Enter, That's we don't. you don't need to do an array there. Uh, drag it over and drag it down. And let's do a little check in here. 928 for product 3, uh, 928 fits between, is below this, and both of these are zeros. Uh, what about here? Uh, 100, that's right. 500, ooh, exactly, that's right. Uh, the 0.2, yep, that's right, because it's between, between 1,000 and 500, so it gets that 2%. So it looks like it's working here. Now, we st of course, we'll take this one step further. I'm going to highlight everything in the active cell, hit F2. I'm going to simply say this times. That'll be a relative star reference. Now, this is not an or, uh, or lookup. This has some array elements, uh, but we do not. Lookup can handle array. A, lookup can handle arrays, but also small and large when it has an array constant doesn't need to be entered with control shift enter. So to populate all of these cells with my edited formula, I'm going to hold control and tap enter. Control enter just says, hey, put the thing in the active cell into all the cells. And sure enough, there is our uh, calculation.
and there's our calculation all the way through. I'm going to double check it again, click on the last one, and visually say, okay, that one's right, that one's right, that one's right. All right, we'll see you next trick.